Hello YouTubers, this is GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair today working on a 98 CRV Honda CRV four cylinder automatic two wheel drive. We will be replacing the CV axle. So first of all well, we're gonna remove the tire which we already did. I'm gonna secure the vehicle so I have my st jack stand and I keep in my, my floor my jack right there so just in case anyhow first thing well gonna have to have a 36 millimeter socket which I have I remove that I remove this tie rod end I remove the, the lower bolt from the strut and yes we do have a lot of oil here it's because the power steering pump is leaking like crazy so we're going to replace that too but we're going to make a different video for that so anyhow let me remove those two this is 17 millimeter this is 17 millimeter if you don't have the, the tool to to cut to break them loose just grab a hammer tap it several times right here not here Steering knuckle, hold the spindle, whatever you want to call it. Tap it several times there, and that will pop loose. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so so ready to remove the nut and all. I forgot the lower ball joint. You have to remove that too. It's a 17 millimeter. Same thing. Remove the nut. Tap them. And that will pop loose. And after that, you're just gonna lift. You uh, grab you grab the rotor like this and lift them up, and we'll come we'll come apart. Pretty simple. I'm sorry that camera is moving a lot. Now what I need to do? I need to go underneath the car. And I think I have a bracket here. So let's go underneath and see if you have a bracket. All right, I'm underneath the vehicle, and yes, in fact, it does have a bracket. So usually there are like three bolts, a 14 millimeter bolts. Hold on, let's see if I can get you a better shot right there. That's one. Huh? Maybe just one or two. There is a yeah. There are three. One, two. And three, 40 millimeter break. Remove those three bolts right from the bracket, and the whole axle will come up out. You're gonna move the, the fork, it comes on the bottom of the strut, push it outside and to the left so that way you can bring this axle right between the fork, the opening of the fork. Okay, so I will show that in a minute. All right, so it's not as windy now. I removed the three bolts. One, two, three. All three are the same length. So no need to worry about which, which one goes on each hole. So now, like I say, grab the fork, left it, push it to the front of the vehicle and now the axle come right here between so the only thing I have to do now is pull this axle out of the car make sure you put something there to collect the oil sometimes you're gonna lose some oil sometimes you won't but in case make sure you just collect it be cautious be ahead prevent it and pull this out and just pull the new one back in on reverse order okay I hope this helped uh, please subscribe to the channel like the video share it I'll try to grow my channel uh, if you have any questions I will be posted right there and in the comments section in the comments and I will try to reply as much as I can thank you see you in the next one bye